Hey guys, uh, what's up? Welcome to my tutorial, and this is a tutorial on how to dual boot your PC with Ubuntu. Um, this will work with Windows XP and Windows Vista. Uh, not Windows 7, because Windows 7 is still a beta, but it will soon come out. And by the way guys, this is a great OS. If some people out there don't know what Ubuntu is, it's another OS like Windows 7, which is this here or like Windows Vista but a different operating system except it's much more different and kinda complicated a bit unless you learn a lot about Ubuntu okay uh, the requirements you will need for Ubuntu these are the bare minimum requirements for your PC if you're gonna run Ubuntu a 300 megahertz processor a 64 megabyte of system memory which is the RAM at least 4 gigabyte of disk, disk space for full installation and swap space a good graphics card probably a 32 megabyte but I don't think the cool effects you're gonna run won't work and here are the recommended minimum requirements 700 megahertz processor 384 megabyte of RAM 8 gigabyte of disk space a graphics card capable of 1024 to X 68 resolution a good sound card a network or internet connection and here are for visual effects which is this here let me just show you guys um what's that called the desktop effects is like transseculate windows 3d desktop capabilities shadow effects motion effects and animations and if you want those here's are the requirements for it at least 1.2 gigahertz processor 384 megabyte of ram supported graphics card and yeah so those you will need if you have a low computer that's kind of slow these are the minimum requirements but you won't be able to run desktop effects uh, I get Ubuntu for the fun of it because of the effects you can do which I will show later on but Ubuntu is great so you guys should really get it and also what you guys would need things you will need Damien Tools Lite it is this program that can just mount a disk on your computer without like the ISO image from Ubuntu is an ISO image but we have to burn onto CD well I found out this program that you can use you don't have to burn it onto a CD and then insert it into your computer you can just mount it on your computer without using a disk so here are the requirements you need Damien Tools Lite and you don't need a CD or a DVD for your Ubuntu disk so to get Damien Tools Lite which is our first priority and open up your web browser I'm gonna use Google Chrome of course and go to this website Damien Tools uh, I'll just post this in the description but make sure to go to the site and once you're here at the downloads page scroll down keep scrolling until you see Damien Tools Lite which is this one right here just click on download and once you're at the website click on download which is over here and go ahead and download it save it to your desktop and install it it's compatible with Windows 7 so once you guys already installed Damien Tools Lite our next thing we have to do is get Ubuntu our simple thing to do so to get to Ubuntu we're just gonna have to go to Ubuntu.com so everybody just go to Ubuntu.com make sure to open your web browser and go to that site once you're at Ubuntu.com click on download with this big headline here showing about Ubuntu 9.04 click on download and once you're at download Ubuntu scroll down choose a version is over here with the desktop edition um, if you guys have a low computer like the bare minimum requirements the requirements here for minimum for desktop effects um, I would recommend 8.04 for your desktop effects on the low end computer if you have a fast computer get 9.04 because I tried out 9.04 on this laptop of mine with its desktop effects and it's pretty slow with the graphics of the special effects I always wonder why 8.04 is, is low is faster when I run the effects it's just that they improved the the effects on 9.04 so yeah that's the difference so after you chose a version here if you have a low computer like I said get 8.04 if you have a fast computer get 9.04 now choose a download location near you under choose a version and click on here please choose a, uh, a location scroll down look for the United States or whatever place just choose anything here to download 
United States, MIT Media Lab. And then after that, click on Begin Download. Oh yeah, by the way guys, if you don't know what architecture your computer is, a 32-bit or 64-bit, if you have like 1 gigabyte of RAM on your computer, that means you have a 32-bit. Or if you have 2 gigabyte of RAM, that's a 32-bit. If you have 8 gigabyte of RAM, which is pretty fast, you got a 64-bit operating system. And an easier way to do this is just going to your start button, right-click on computer or my computer on Windows XP, click on properties, and it shows here under system, system type, 32-bit operating system. And yeah, and now you know your computer is a 32-bit. Download the 32-bit operating system version. Click on begin download. Your download should begin shortly once it uh, prompts you to uh, go to this site here. After that, this small window should pop up on your web browser. Save it onto your desktop and it should be on your desktop. As you guys should see, I already have one on my desktop. So just go ahead and download the program, I mean uh, the OS. It should take a while because it's 600 megabyte. So if you have faster internet, internet it shouldn't take long. So once you've done that, make sure to start up Damien Tools. So to start Damien Tools, of course, just go to your start button, all programs, Damien Tools Lite, start it up. And then when you start it up, it should be saying like updating virtual drives. Let me just show you guys. Okay, once you start up Damien Tools Lite, it should be at the task tray down here. It should say like um, updating your drives but it's not because it already did it to me so you may have way you may have to wait like a 30 seconds for Damien tools to start up and after you got that done and after you're done downloading Ubuntu 8.04 or 9.04 go to Damien tools at the task tray here right click on the icon it should show like a lightning bolt right click click on virtual CD slash DVD hyphen ROM click on device here and mount image now go to where Ubuntu, wherever you saved Ubuntu from, Ubuntu.com. And once you're there, just choose the Ubuntu you downloaded and click on open. I got 8.04. I'm going to click on open. And it makes a virtual drive in your computer. And just wait for Ubuntu to start up. And the small window should pop up from the Ubuntu virtual drive. By the way, if you guys don't know what a virtual drive is, it's like a made up version, but you don't have another CD drive. So if you go to computer or my computer, it should show like BD hyphen ROM drive. That's a virtual drive here. And here is a virtual drive. Whatever you do, don't eject it or do anything to it. Click on the big X or close this. And once you're in Ubuntu CD menu, click on install inside Windows, not the full installation because you don't need to. And you might experience some errors on it. So it's better the safe way install inside Windows. So click on here. This window should pop up and it should load and extract it. And you choose your installation drive. Um like I I forgot to tell you guys that you have to have like 15 gigabyte of free space or lower like four gigabyte. And yeah, so make sure to choose your installation drive. Like my C drive is Windows 7, which is here. You can install it in any kind of drive, and I promise you it will not overwrite anything inside your computer, nothing at all. So yeah, just choose any kind of installation drive. If you only have one, choose your drive C. But I already made a, a partition for me, which is Ubuntu 8.04, which is my B drive. So I'm going to install it in my B drive and put it to 15 gigabyte since I made it that big but you can choose the lowest here but I recommend 15 gigabyte if you're going to install a lot of stuff on Ubuntu and under desktop environment we're going to choose Ubuntu of course and after that's done language English or whatever you can read and under username we're going to choose it has to be lowercase by the way so your username just make it like micro for me and your password, you you have to put a password. If you don't, they won't let you uh, use Ubuntu. So that's what sucks. So put in your password. After that's done, click on install. And it's checking installation during everything. So I'll be back and in one second. So 